In today's video, I'm going to turn one of these extra Chucks Lees that we recently got while hunting for Stormstrike, that video is coming out tomorrow by the way, and turn him into Steve from Minecraft. I'll also turn one of these glitch blades into a Minecraft zombie. We got a lot to do, so let's get started. <laughs> In preparation of today's build, I bought a tube of green stuff. If you've never heard of green stuff, here's the spec sheet. One thing that caught my eye is that it can withstand up to four vulcanizations. That's some strong stuff. Anyways, another amazing thing this green stuff can do is make molds, which is what we'll be using it for today. I've never used green stuff before, but it's very similar to epoxy clay in that you mix it in a one-to-one -one ratio. The only difference is that green stuff has a very rubbery texture when it's fully dried. The first thing that I immediately notice is that this green stuff is extremely tacky and the only thing keeping it from completely sticking to my gloves is a little water that I'm constantly having to dip my fingers in. Here goes nothing guys. Worst case scenario, this LEGO Minecraft sword gets destroyed in a lump of green stuff. But if everything goes right, we'll have a real fake diamond Minecraft sword for Steve. While that's drying, let's get started on these figures. First, I'll carefully remove the head with a small flat screwdriver. You need to be really patient with this part or you can cause some serious damage to your warrior's neck. Next, the weapons, which are also pretty difficult to remove, but a pair of needle nose pliers will get the job done. We'll be making custom arms for both Steve and the zombie, so say goodbye to these. And last, I'll take off the base plate just so we have more room to work on the legs. This process is really hit or miss. Some of these base plates are attached with so much glue, it's impossible to remove them without breaking the pegs. Luckily, they came off with no problems. Now, we can go outside and grind all the curves off these guys. I think that's enough grinding for now. These guys are ready for clay, but first, I'll drill out a few holes for their new arms. Next, I'll glue nails into those holes to give our clay arms strength and structure. Now we're ready to mix up some epoxy clay. After combining part A with part B, the clay will self-harden in a couple of hours making it the perfect material to sculpt directly onto our warrior. Besides fabricating new arms, I'll use the clay to finish the legs, make a couple cubes for their heads, and I've also decided to give Steve a shield. It's just one bar of iron, right? It's getting pretty dark and I don't want to run into any zombies, so I think I'll get some sleep and finish up in the morning. <laughs> the sun is barely up, but I can't wait to finish these guys. I wasn't able to get the clay parts perfect, so instead, I just made them bigger, knowing that I could sand them down to the perfect shape after they dried. Don't laugh at my sandpaper collection because it's really all I have. I'll start with a piece of 60 grit that's obviously for my orbital sander. Then I'll go to 120 grit again for my orbital, except this one has dust holes. Next, I'll jump up to 1000 grit and finally finish it off with 1500 grit. After that, they're ready for paint. But first, I think the green stuff mold is dry and I really want to cut it open to see if it worked or not.
I can't believe it actually worked. And the mold is so detailed, it's unbelievable. I'll fill this with some resin and hopefully by tomorrow, we'll have a real fake diamond sword. Okay, now we can paint. Both figures are completely painted, but Steve still has no weapon. I've been letting this dry for almost two days now, and I think it's time to crack it open. And this is what I was afraid of. Steven Zombie, ladies and gentlemen. Zombie features two extra long outstretched arms guaranteed to split strike any opponent. Steve comes equipped with a magnetic shield and hopefully I can give him a real fake diamond sword. I'm gonna attempt another cast that'll be poxy this time, but that'll be in a shorts video coming out soon. If you guys enjoyed the show, then please hit that like and subscribe button. And if this video gets 1000 likes, I'll make another Minecraft warrior. Let me know in the comments who you want it to be. Maybe an iron golem, a wither, how about a warden? And don't forget, we're giving away a complete set of Series 1 Akato Warriors when we hit 100,000 subscribers. That includes Stormstrike. We'll also be having a Minecraft Battle Challenge, and if Eddie and Clark can beat me, they'll unlock a mystery Minecraft surprise. Thank you everyone so much for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you, and we'll see you in the next video.